You greet me here in the Queen's Castle. I am your prince, that one dude, and we are playing Kingdom Hearts 1. I like my interest to be a bit different if I can. So I've done a few insults when people have called me and I just, uh, all this sort of stuff, like, I'm fine. I, I, I drew the inspiration from the Trixie and Katia show, but I didn't want to do, like, those whole convoluted intros. I don't, I, I will do, like, some, um, very unique ones, but are you kidding me? Oh, ah. We're really strong, but then again, this is the easiest world, and we've just done the hardest. Uh, Disney World, so... We should really be finding this. We are, there's a problem. I liked in this one, I really did like in this world, in this game, though, that they didn't just include, include a person in every single world. Like, it felt special to have a companion. Like, you didn't in, um... You didn't in this one. You didn't in Olympus Colosseum. Or a chocolate noise. Where else didn't you have one? You didn't have oh, I don't know. You just have, didn't have one in every single world. You had one in most worlds. I'm an idiot. I want to kill myself. Uh, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I brushed my teeth really early today. Because I, I, I'm forgetting to uh, brush my teeth at night for some unknown reason. Just when you go to bed. Um, my ex and I used to do it like wow. He's just he's been on the mind recently. So I'm thinking like I used to do it quite early on because it used to keep us awake. We thought, and it doesn't keep me awake now because if I'm tired, I'm tired, you know. But um, yeah, I started to just I did it really early today, and it's just really weird like feeling my teeth really clean, and I'm like I'm not in bed yet. This is a weird feeling. Like I do it in the morning as well, but not as much. Because I eat things when I come down, I have a like, an apple, that's my morning thing. So I have like, I come downstairs, have an apple, and then off I off, off go on my, on my life. So I'll clean my teeth and have an apple, so the, I don't really feel the softness of my teeth afterwards, because I'm eating something pretty quickly. And the apple isn't too strong a flavour, I, I, my preferred apple is gala. Gala's are nice apples. They're nice and sweet and crisp. And just what I want in my life at the minute. At the minute. But enough about me. We're off to Agrabah. Traveling the world in the seven seas. That lamp's house. I failed miserably. Oh, well, might as well do the pot scorpion as well. It's the benefit of having a small keyblade, you won't accidentally knock one. Funny, like at work once, um, they loads of milk. There were, there were tons of milk. Um, a manager messed up and ordered um, 16 times the amount of milk we needed. These things happen occasionally, but we had nowhere to store it. 
and instead of it giving to a manager and then saying, right, we have to deal with it, give it to a different spoon or whatever, um, we were just tasked with, you deal with it, me and my friend. Now, they had to ask the only vegan and the only lactose intolerant person at that time to deal with the milk, and we, we, we joked. The manager we didn't like, and we joked with them, are you, are you, are you, like, punishing us for being vegan and lactose intolerant? And instead of him just laughing it off and going, oh, I didn't know, whoops, mistake, he was like, yes, I am. And we were like, what? And he was like, you shouldn't be lactose intolerant. I was like, okay, most of the world is lactose intolerant. And he goes, no, they're just, they're just you're just complete and utter idiots. They can't be bothered to drink milk. I'm like, can't be bothered. Can't be bothered. Thunder. <sighs> and then I was like, and then when I said, and then I said, how about my friend? She's vegan. And she was, he was just like, oh, you should really be vegan, should you? And he got in a lot of trouble for saying those comments. <laughs> It was, it was just it was just hilarious like it was just he happened to pick the lactose intolerant person and the uh, and the vegan we just thought it was it was it was funny he did not have to see the comedy because he has no sense of humor The world does open, the worlds do open up. It's nice that they actually saw, like, they're not growth abilities, but I'll call them growth abilities because they're doing cage 2 and it makes sense. So the growth abilities you get throughout the game, um, they don't all open up to you. They, they open up, they, they, you see, like, you can see the stress just from all of Because you need to get it. Um, eventually, you will be getting it eventually, but you don't have the capacity at the minute to do it, and I think that's so cool. Like, Cage 2 didn't really do that to the same extent they did in the Garden of uh, Assembly, or Remembrance. Cabin of Remembrance. Cabin of Remembrance. Uh, they did it in there, and that was like a very good touch, you know. I just, it, it's, if you don't, if you've played Kingdom Hearts as a kid and you haven't played it since, or go back to a childhood game as an adult and you feel so, so effing good about yourself because you're like, yeah, I, I, I can do that and I wasn't able to ever do this as a kid and you just feel so proud of yourself almost. I don't know why. I think I think it's just because like the things you found difficult as a kid. I missed it. I missed it by that much. I know you can see the fingers on holding on by that much. Um, but like the sense of accomplishment you get as an adult, being able to do the stuff you want to do as a kid, which is why I'm going to do Sephiroth. I'm going to try and do Sephiroth, I should say. And I'm going to try and do. I'm gonna try and do all the other ones. Like Kurt Caesar and the Phantom, because I never did them as a kid. I don't play Kingdom Hearts for the challenge, he says, playing Kingdom Hearts 1 on Critical only, and Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts 2 on Critical only, and Kingdom Hearts 1 on Proud. I know we need to come back over the yellow, the yellow trinity, so I should have should have really just come back then. Save time, but you know, I'm not timing myself. It's not a speed run, it's fine. Excuse you, I think you need to stop. And we're gonna go on Sonic. Sonic! Sonic! Go back to Halloween Town as well. Uh, snoring puppy again. Honestly, she snores so much. It's 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 a sweet snore. It's not an annoying one. It's not like how humans snore. <sighs> but it's not. It's like it's just a cute little one to let you know she's still alive and she's still breathing. Although after some of the stuff she does, I do question how.
Hat it? If in doubt, thunder it out. I know I dropped something, like that, that crate, I pushed it down, but we're not going to go there until I pushed this one down over here. We'll, we'll do them both at the same time. So for now. We're just going to go out ahead. Yes, leave, excuse you. Deep Jungle's got one as well. spin its air as well, and if they float its gravity, and if they stop, it stops, obviously. Come on, do it for me. Fall asleep. Can you stop? Can you stop doing cure? Dude, dude. Set up the thunder. I think you got it that way. Set up the thunder. Come on. Go on, Mr. Mushroom. They do disappear after a while if you don't do it. He does not want to give me the thunder up to me. There we go. Oh, we've got, we've got two thunder arts. We need to do everything else. All the other arts. We do need to go and synthesize things. You can get use glide to get things on on these if you didn't get them with high jump and or without either ability. Um, it is a lot quicker to get high jump and to get um, glide, but like I know a lot of people don't. Wait, like people don't want to, like they want to, they want to wait. I think I don't know what's going on. They, they don't want to challenge themselves with it. They'd rather take the easy route and get those things. Like they're not, in my opinion, they're not useful anyway. Um, like they're dramatically useful to your situation at the time. Because once I think, well, I think, I think, I mean, I'm not, I'm not a person who remembers all the treasure chests. But I believe one is a gummy piece and one is Dalmatians. So as long as you get the 99 Dalmatians, it'll be fine. Oh, there's the, the hero there. And Donald appears at that exact moment to grab half the MP. That's where we were gonna go anyway. Oh dear god, oh dear god. 
God. Oh, that was harsh. That was nasty. I don't even know why I pressed triangle, I just did. I thought it was going to open the chest. Turns out no, not did, it did, it did. It did. I do like in Cage 2 the lessons set the glide up as, as much as they did. Like, it needed to get sped up. The thing I said about being an adult, go back to a childhood game that you ever struggled on. It's not like because it was glitchy, just because you were not that great a video game. It's like going back to, it's the same feeling just after, of going back to a weaker world when you're really powerful. Like, Bloodborne and Souls games, not really because the world levels up around you. Near Autonomous Earth has the same problem too, like you can't go back to a really good part of the game because the world levels up with you, um, which is it, it's nice, but in this one where the world doesn't level up with you, I mean it does later. Um, Dragon Quest 8 had the same thing, but they changed it eventually. Um, if you ever have a chance to play Dragon Quest 8, it is really really fun and I recommend doing so. It's, it's, it's in one of my top 10 childhood games. Um, I played it with my mum for years, um, just because it was it was something that we both thought was fun, um, and we both like take it in turns to do some grinding or, um, well, she didn't say grinding. She was like, "Let's go leveling up." I was like, "Yeah, let's do that." I think that's all the bits in here that you can glide to, really. I know you can play jump up here, but I don't think there's anything... We didn't want to land, apparently. Oh my god, I'm not this rubbish at platforming. Still, I have high jump, I have glide. I know there's some places, there's some things in Travis Town we can do. Said that my delivery thing can load, but I don't remember what I've ordered. <laughs> you know? You know when that happens? It's it's rather disconcerting when that happens. Um oh, Halloween town here. Yeah. yeah. I remember. I did say it was coming Monday. It's foot softening crystals. So, um, a side effect of being diabetic, not me and my mum, um, she had cracked heels for a long time. Uh, when I mean cracked heels, I mean the skin is so dry it cracks but diabetics often lose their feet um, feet are a big problem for diabetics so I got her this I got this foot cream and was like because my feet are dry because I used to do around about 50,000 steps a day every day not timing myself but like I work in I worked in a place where I walked around a lot like of course I'm gonna have a lot of steps in a day um, I'm just thinking, is there a single place in one stroke? I don't think there is. 
I used to walk around a lot in my job, so of course I'd do a load of stuff in a day. And um, my feet always were really dry, so I finally got this cream that was really, really good. And was telling my mum about it, because um, she's gone through pretty much every single cream on the market, and nothing really helps with her cracked heels. Um, but this cream was specifically for diabetics. It's 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 uh, one on Amazon, and I've got it ordered every month because um, it's an absolute nightmare to remember where you got that cream from if it's a special one like she had own branded ones. She had one specifically for cracked heels, and it, it, it softened it up for a bit. But this is the softest it's ever gone, and um, like she's still not got. Uh, there's still a little bit of crackage there, for lack of a better word. Um, so we're getting foot softening crystals to really soften the skin up for her. It seems like I need a frost charm. A lot of frost charms. I need a power gem as well. Power stone, even. I will do that when I get stop upgraded. Yeah, I'm gonna go do cups as well. Should I do cups or should I do the cups when I've done? Have a think. Have a think. Um, but we'll end the episode here because it's been around about 20 minutes and I do like to kind of reduce, I've re tried to reduce it down to a consistent 20 minutes if I can at this point. Just so it's a little bit easier for you to grasp how much the episode, how long the episode is without going on it. And also just to make my content a little bit more consistent. But talking about my content, um, I've been that one dude. You've been watching me play Kingdom Hearts 1. Uh, if you like, please feel free to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.